We are your official Wildcat and Lady Cat station, KSS T1238 M Silver Springs, Texas. It's time for Lady Cat Soccer. From Gerald Pimm Stadium, here's KSST Sports Director Don Julian. Don? James Terry, thank you very much, and welcome everyone into Gerald Prim Stadium. It's a non district uh, soccer game tonight, and the uh, Nevada Community Lady Braves are here to play the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs. As uh, the Lady Cats are uh, getting very close to the beginning of district play, so these uh, final contests are very important for them to try to round into uh, uh, shape and get ready for uh, the uh, district campaign that will be coming up. In fact, uh, uh, just uh, before you know it, see if I can find out when uh, district play does begin. Uh, looks like on February 12th, and uh, so that is one week uh, from tonight. Uh, the Lady Cats will be opening uh, district play that will open the season one week from tonight at Greenville and uh, the Wildcats uh, on the same night will be uh, right here at the Prim as they will open their campaign against Greenville right here on uh, the pitch at uh, Gerald Prim Stadium. <clears throat> Lady Cats are uh, hoping to uh, break into the win column 0-9-3 on the season but I got to looking at some of the teams uh, that they have played some of the big boys this year or big girls I should say. How about Red Oak uh, they are a, a highly touted team. Now, they played the JV of Highland Park, but their varsity team is uh, just about in the state tournament every year. So those players that can't quite make the varsity still very, very tough, as the uh, uh, Lady Cats found out. Also played Mesquite Poteet and actually earned a tie in that game. Flower Mound Marcus, that was a very, very tough game. And uh, Rockwall Heath, big 6A school. Uh, North Mesquite uh, over there, another uh, 6A. So uh, just, uh, and Wiley East, they played them uh, just the other night, uh, last Friday here at the Prim. And, and that was their opponent in uh, by district play last season. So uh, they have played a tough schedule and, and really have had a terrible situation with uh, illness and injuries. And I remember Joel Bailey was talking about one of the scores in one of the games, and he, he added the comment, yeah, she's playing with a cast on her wrist. And so it's been that kind of mash season for the Lady Cats. So hopefully uh, some of those players are returning. They just had the uh, meeting out in the, the center, and the Lady Cats captains are Allie Stevens and also Brooke Harden. And Brooke's old uh, uh, daddy was uh, just in here generally harassing us, uh, but actually always good to see Rusty Harden. And Rusty came in and uh, said hello, so we're glad to see him. As uh, we are just seconds away from uh, the start here, we have three officials. Uh, good to see that. I know when uh, Community came and played the uh, Wildcats, that was a game we did uh, oh, low those uh, weeks ago here at Gerald Prim Stadium. And they only had two officials that night. Tonight we do have three, which one stationed out on the field, and then the two with the flags will be roaming the sideline. So that's, uh, that's a much better situation. Jeremy Offit is now introducing the players. Let's pick that up. I don't think we're hearing uh, Jeremy. He is uh, the mic levels for some reason. Um, I can uh, try to get as many of these players in as possible. Uh, they have uh, Kendra Rojas. They have Emily uh, Buenteo, uh, Madison Arzate, Crystal Gonzalez, Melissa Shirley, Ashley Sales Garcia, Victoria Bermudez, Angie Yanez, Natalia Fonseca, Sarah Colley, Laney Dunn, uh, Emerson Allen, Lisbeth Fonseca, Pamela, uh, Pamela Ragsdale, Abby Newton, and Isabella Marino. And I think I interview, uh, introduced now, her. Here, now we've got him. Go, go, Number Jeremy. One, go. McKenna Gamble. Number two, Bailey Harrington. Number three, Caitlin Robinson. Number four, Jackie Esparza. Number five, Ashley Noe. Number six, Vanessa Lara. Number eight, Jasmine Oliveira. Number nine, 
Number nine, Haley Robinson. Number 10, Allie Steven. Number 11, Lois Ronka. Number 12, Anna Irving. Number 13, Shelby McCormick. Number 14, Deneen Yamaguchi. Number 16, Keely Hudgens. Number 17, Erica Van Bentham. Number 18, Brooke Harden. Number, nine, or number 20, Jennifer Lopez. And number 22, Chloe Jones. Lady Cats are coached by Joe Bailey and Ross Hicks. And that's Jeremy Offit. Uh, he's kind of the official uh, announcer now here at uh, Soccer Games. Uh, this is the second one we've done, and he's uh, uh, done both uh, Wildcats and Lady Cats. National Anthem now coming up here at the Prim. Anthem here from Gerald Prim Stadium. Appreciate uh, Jeremy Offit uh, for his good work on PA here. And we've got some exciting news uh, from Texarkana. I guess uh, this uh, Lady Cats game a little bit late in getting started, but they have played one quarter, and we have a report here that uh, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs lead Texas High after the first quarter by the score of 13 to 10. So uh, an early uh, return. And, uh, but uh, good news so far from uh, Texarkana. Still a lot of basketball left to be played, but as we get those reports, we certainly appreciate uh, that report uh, coming to us. <clears throat> I don't exactly recognize that phone number, but I uh, appreciate uh, who uh, took it upon themselves to, uh, to share that with us. As uh, Joel Bailey and his team uh, huddled uh, down in front of us in the... Uh, community Braves, uh, Lady Braves, are uh, on the far side of the field uh, with their head coach, who is uh, Elise Berta. She's assisted by Jake Price. I think Jake is a huge individual. He and Coach Offit uh, would uh, see eye to eye. <laughs> Big fellow over there. I believe that's him. And... Uh, of course, the Lady Cats have a tall assistant coach, too, and Ross Hicks. He, that uh, former uh, cross-country guy and uh, a soccer goalkeeper for the Wildcats. <clears throat> and his, uh, Ross, speaking of Ross, by the way, uh, his JV defeated uh, Community by the score of two to nothing in the JV contest, scored a goal in each half, also had a penalty kick down there, but couldn't get that one past the goalkeeper. And the Lady Cats uh, break out uh, now and uh, head uh, to their uh, end of the field. And uh, I see Erica Van Bentham is uh, on the defensive side. Oh, boy, we're going to have to. That, uh, we've got a noisy crowd, believe it or not. And uh, they really uh, had some favorites uh, as uh, the players were being introduced. McKenna Gamble is uh, the goalkeeper for the Lady Cats. Also out there, Allie Stevens. 
and uh, also have Shelby McCormick. And see who else we can spot here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, uh, Ashley Noe is back there and kind of sh shading into the defense. And uh, let's see on the far side of the field, kind of hard to see all the way over there. They don't get give you much of a look. Anyway, we'll pick the players up as we can, and the ball kicked into the Lady Cats' end. And, They'll start uh, with the ball, and uh, Stevens uh, down the field works it over to Haley Robinson, kicks it back into the defense, and comes down to Erica Van Bentham over to the far touchline, taken away by Community. And here come the uh, Lady Braves. They kick it into the Lady Cats defense. Van Bentham has it, puts a good uh, kick on it, squirts up to around the midline to Bailey Arrington. Here's Arrington on the move and kicks it down the field and got it back, but uh, taken away by the Braves. But Bailey Arrington sticking with it, continuing to attack down there for the Lady Cats. It's kicked across the uh, touchline. It'll be Lady Braves throw in. As just underway here at Gerald Prem Stadium, 0-0. Ball thrown in. Settled down there by Ashley Noe. Kicked to the uh, near touchline here. There's Arrington again. Putting some pressure on for the Lady Cats, but Braves kick it back. Now, Arrington almost got uh, control of it, but the Braves step in and move it down the field toward the midline. Allie Stevens kicks it. And a lady with some uh, bright uh, pink uh, shoes down there. That is uh, Janine Yamaguchi. And there's Stevens again working it down to uh, Haley Robinson. The Braves uh, kick it uh, back uh, near the midline, goes across the touch line on the near side here. And Allie Stevens with a throw in and gets it down to Haley Robinson. But taken away by the Braves, and here they come. Across the midline they go. Moving the ball there is Natalia Fonseca. Lady Cats kick it out of their defensive end down to Arrington, right on the touch line on the near side here. Braves trying to get control, goes to Stevens, and she rolls it to uh, Ashley Noe. Noe with the left foot over to Yamaguchi, back to Noe. And uh, Ashley down the field, Haley Robinson, and over to Allie Stevens. Stevens kicks uh, in the direction of Bailey Arrington, but Braves send it up near midfield. Now here's uh, Nevada Community on the attack with uh, Natalia Fonseca. Yamaguchi trying to uh, get control of the ball. Takes the ball, kicked off of her, but Haley Robinson trying to get it under control. And now here comes the Braves on the uh, near touch line as they maneuver in and move it into the box area. And Bentham was shading uh, the player a little bit, trying to keep her away. A nice uh, defensive move there by McKenna Gamble. And Gamble, the keeper with the punt out of there, off of a uh, Lady Brave. And uh, Nevada Community with a player moving into the box against Allie Stevens. Stevens back there. Player trying to get a shot away. The Lady Cats kick it out of there. Chested down by, by the Lady Braves as they try to get a shot off as, uh, from the edge of the box and just missed a post. McKenna Gamble dived uh, to her right, to our left as we look at it here, and it just missed a post by Nevada Community on a shot. Pretty good shot there as uh, the Lady Braves threaten, but uh, come away empty, and Gamble will now kick from the ground at the edge of the small box. Kicks over to the far side, and up the field it comes, and the Braves have it. They'll kick to the far touch line as they try to come down with their offense. And they're coming in from the right side. There's a kick to the middle, and Gamble will eat that one up right in the small box area. And now she will heave that ball out of there from uh, at the edge of the big box. There's a collision. I mean, uh, Haley Robinson ran into one of the Braves. And Allie Stevens now throwing in for the Lady Cats. Gets it uh, in toward Ashley Noe. Here's Yamaguchi. And she kicks over to Noe. 
And Ashley rolls it over to a teammate kick down the field. Oh, a lady cat slipped and fall, uh, fell there, and the ball went out of bounds. That lady hopped up on that far side of the field. See if I can identify through that ponytail who that is. That's uh, Caitlin Robinson. Yeah, throw in for the Lady Cats. I think this is Harden. Yeah, uh, well, it looks, oh, it looks like Erica Van Bentham. Oh, it's going to be a free kick. Uh, it's not a throw at all here, and uh, Van Bentham will take that out about 45 yards. And uh, Erica kicks it uh, into the edge of the box. The Lady Cats chasing, and the uh, Lady Braves will kick it across the uh, in line. And that's going to set up a corner kick for the Lady Cats. And I believe taking that will be Keeley Hutchins, Hudgens, I should say. So Keeley with the corner kick for the Lady Cats. And here it is uh, toward the goal. And uh, right out in front there, but the keeper uh, got to it for uh, community. And they will kick uh, out of, uh, of their goal area. It's up around the midline. And here come the Lady Braves. Allie Stevens uh, gets to it first, though, but the Braves kick it uh, further down the field. This is going to get inside that box, and Gamel will uh, keep it on the ground for right now, and when uh, harassed by a defender, she uh, picks it up. Erica Van Bentham rolls it up toward Noe, but taken away by the Lady Braves. And again, Natalia Fonseca. The Lady Cats uh, get it back, though, with uh, Haley Robinson. Comes down to Ashley Noe with a left foot. And the Lady Cats turn and chase on that far touch line. I believe that's Caitlin Robinson there to Yamaguchi and back to Caitlin Robinson. She's to the left of the big box, uh, burrowing in. Nevada Community player uh, tried a, a sliding uh, defensive move. And uh, Caitlin Robinson got around that. Here's a kick uh, toward the center, but uh, the Lady Braves will get there first and kick it up uh, toward the midline. Allie Stevens has it. She's on the move and uh, finds the uh, near touch line. This is Bailey Arrington. Arrington into the edge of the box, kicks toward the goal. Couldn't find a, a crosser there, and it's going to roll all the way uh, across the far touch line right there by where the corner kicks take place. And it'll be a throw-in for uh, Nevada Community, or just Community, if you'd like. Part of three communities that uh, got together and formed a school district. One of them, which I found out, was Josephine, uh, which was where my father was born. And uh, here comes uh, the uh, Lady Cats with a kick toward the goal. And Bailey Arrington now to, to the right of the box but taken away by a community they roll it down the field stevens uh, puts a charge into it uh, toward the goal and uh, nevada or the community clears it to the side kick uh, down the field and lady braves oh uh, bumped off the ball there for the lady cats to get uh, back control but uh, the braves uh, get a hold of it in front of their goal and then kick it across the touch line throw in for the lady cats And so a throw in coming for the Lady Cats. <clears throat> Team's uh, trying to get possession. Still, uh, now Yamaguchi's got it and sends it further down the field. Now kicked out of there by community. It'll go into the Lady Cats defense. They'll turn and chase and get back there. I believe that is Shelby McCormick over to Stevens. And uh, now they work to Arrington. Arrington uh, coming down the uh, uh, near touch line. Uh, got around her player. Kicks uh, toward the middle. High in the air kick by Community. It stays in bounds uh, for right now and then goes out of bounds. And Joel Bailey tries to lend a hand down there. Throw in for Allie Stevens for the Lady Cats. And heads it uh, toward Arrington. Again to the right side of the box. A Community player there trying to... Uh, fend off uh, Arrington and now uh, the official calls for a goal kick and knocked out of bounds by the Lady Cats. So community will be taking a kick here. We have uh, no score here, 0-0. Zero, zero. And kicking for community now uh, out of the 
will be Abby Newton out of the small box, uh, the edge of the small box. 30-26 left here in the first half, and we're 0-0. Zero, zero. Here's Newton's kick out of the goal off of a community player. They'll kick it uh, up the field, and now is Lisbeth Fonseca on the move off of a Lady Cat. And here come the Lady Braves. Emerson Allen down the field, but intercepted there by Allie Stevens. But uh, here's a, a Lady uh, player from uh, community with a kick on the goal, but it was to the right of the uh, post. I think Gamble may have uh, got a hand on it too, but perhaps not because the, the officials do not call for a corner kick, but rather a goal kick. So out of the goal, McKenna Gamble will kick for the Lady Cats. And McKenna approaches and puts the foot into it off of Yamaguchi. He kicks it down the field and finds Haley Robinson. Robinson kicks toward Bailey Arrington. Arrington trying to split a pair of defenders. Arrington still on the move, and now uh, Community uh, gets a hold of it. Just in bounds and, and kicked it out of bounds, and the Lady Cats will have a throw in very deep in uh, Lady Braves territory here as Allie Stevens is uh, going to have to make a long run and picks up the ball on route there. And Allie Stevens will... Uh, will uh, do the throw in here and heads into the 18-yard uh, uh, box and then kicked out of there by the Lady Braves. Lady Cats trying to get possession. Community trying to come out of their own defense. They'll kick it down the field and do some good passing to get across the midline. And here come the Lady Braves. Lady Cats trying to close off the attacker, but she's moving in. Her kick, uh, she was harassed a lot by the defense, and she kicked it far to the left of the goal. That's what good uh, checking defense will do, is not give you a, a uh, clear kick. But apparently, they're going to say off of the Lady Cats, so a corner kick coming up for a community. And taking it will be Natalia Fonseca. Rolls it into a teammate. Fonseca gets it back, blasted away off of a Lady Cat, who kicks it out of there right back to Fonseca. Kicks it back out in front. The Lady Cats uh, trying to get it out of there. They do. Now Fonseca settles it down. The Lady Cats, oh, a nice move there by a Lady Cat. And she moves it over to Arrington and goes back to the Lady Cats. I think that is uh, Robinson, Haley Robinson. And back to Bailey Arrington, who comes in kind of unchecked. Now she kicks to the center. A player right out in front and uh, trying to settle that down for a shot. But the keeper got to it. So the Lady Cats with a threat there. And a player right out in front. And now here's the kick. And it's uh, not out too far, but uh, goes to a teammate there for the Lady Braves. And they work up near the midline. Yamaguchi with some nice back checking. Crowd like that. Like that hustle by Yamaguchi. Kicks it over toward uh, Robinson, but taken away. And uh, here come the Lady Braves as they continue to move in, but that Lady Brave fell as uh, that was uh, Haley Robinson over to the uh, far touchline. And down that touchline it goes. It remains in bounds. The Lady Cats chasing and kicking it out of their defense. And Noe kicks it back toward Erica Van Bentham, who thunders it up the field. But the Braves, uh, Lady Braves have it again. They're out about 40 yards moving in. Here's a kick uh, uh, knocked uh, to the side, but another player out there moving in to the right side. Pretty well guarded, and uh, the kick was blocked out, out of, across the end line. It'll be a, a goal kick uh, for the Lady Cats and uh, McKenna Gamble. I guess perhaps not blocked then. It was, they say, com a community uh, rolled it across the end line. So Gamble now with a kick from the from the ground at the edge of the uh, six-yard box and puts a charge into it. A header by the Lady Braves. They kick with a left foot, but right to a Lady Cat there. Coming up the field was Haley Robinson, but taken away by the Lady Braves. That's Fonseca kicking it. Allie Stevens rolls it back to a Haley Robinson. Robinson comes up and kicks toward Yamaguchi, but Intercepted by the Lady Braves. Moving with the ball now is Lisbeth Fonseca. Here's a deep kick for the Lady Cats on the 
far touch line. They have a player trying to come in to the left of the box there, and it's going to roll all the way across the end line. And that'll be a goal kick for the Lady Braves. 25-20 left to play in the first half, 0-0. Community High School, where we got our fine defensive coordinator, Alex Guerra. And he knows a lot of these folks uh, for community as he was there for a while. And now the ball up around the midline. The Lady Cats get it toward Yamaguchi. But the Lady Braves uh, have it, and they're playing uh, catch. In the, but now Yamaguchi gets it back and kicks it uh, down the field. Settled down by the Lady Cats. They send a player in, a player bursting in on the keeper. But the keeper got there just ahead of the uh, charging uh, Lady Cat player there. A near miss there, and that was uh, Haley Robinson. Little Lady Braves kick it up near the midline. This is Natalia Fonseca. And now taken away, Bailey Arrington. Arrington kicks it down the field, but broken up by the Lady Braves. And now here's a pass on the uh, near touch line. The Lady Braves have it just inside their territory. They kick it down the field. Lady Cats will kick it to back toward Allie Stevens right on the near touch line. She kicks it down the field, went out of bounds. And uh, throw in for the Lady Braves. 23-56 and 0-0 here from Gerald Prim Stadium. Settling the ball down, Keeley Hudgens. Now here come uh, the Lady Braves as they move it in. Out about 35 yards. Erica Van Bentham uh, gets it out of there. Rolls it over to... Uh, Janine Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi with a strong kick uh, down the field, but the Lady Braves step in, and they'll kick it back into the Lady Cats in. That was a nice pass. Lady Braves uh, moving in to down the right side from our perspective here at the Prim, and then rolled out of bounds by the Lady Cats. Throw in for the Lady Braves. 23-15 left here in the first half, and we're 0-0. So Community will throw the ball in on the far side. And they'll throw it into the 18-yard uh, box. Lady Cats kick it out of there and move it down the field. But the Braves, Lady Braves move it into the edge of the 18-yard box. The Lady Cats punch it out of there. And uh, here's a player coming out on a run and down toward Arrington, but intercepted. That player was Keeley Hudgens. Now the Lady Braves, they had a player break in. She was offside. And uh, so that flag quickly coming up by the official there is a player in offside for uh, community. And that will set up a free kick for the Lady Cats. Uh, out about uh, 25 yards from their own goal. I would imagine Erica Van Bentham might take that. Erica, one of the defenders. She had a terrible wonky ankle during volleyball season. She looks like she is A-OK -okay for soccer. Here's Erica's kick uh, down the field. Yeah, she just never did, could get that thing right during volleyball season, but she looks pretty good on the soccer pitch here. Lady Cats uh, with the ball now to Yamaguchi, and Janine is uh, down the field, uh, kicks it. Uh, Arrington breaks in, and she appears to be onside, working against the defender. And now the ball kicked uh, across the near touch line, but last touched by a uh, community. Went about, out of bounds off Abby Newton. And again, the long run uh, by Allie Stevens, one of the captains, along with uh, Brooke Harden. Well, had both of those uh, delightful young ladies on the uh, Saturday morning coaches show. It was early during basketball season when they were in tournaments. So we had some soccer shows uh, early on. And now the Lady Braves kick it out of there, went off of Stevens and uh, comes down to uh, one of the Lady Braves there. That would be Emerson Allen to Fonseca, and then she sends it uh, down the field. There actually are two Fonsecas. That was Natalia. Now it's kicked uh, on that far touch line. Erica Van Bentham over there, and she rolled it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Lady Braves. 20-47 left. We've played just about half of the first half, and we are tied up at 0-0. Uh, <coughs> on the far touch line. 
off the Lady Cats defender. <coughs> Here's a kick toward the keeper. A couple of uh, uh, bounces uh, into Gamel. And Gamel kick, kicks it out of there. And now here come the Lady Braves. They've got it on the far touchline. Passing and moving, but uh, Van Bentham repelled it a little bit, but the Braves still uh, honing in. Here's a kick. Went off of a Lady Cat defender, and a good block by the Lady Cat's defense, and the ball kind of squirted uh, in the goal area, and Gamble came up and grabbed it. Lady Cat's one of them taking it for the team there with a good block. Kicked by Gamble out of there to the uh, far touch line. And uh, the Lady Braves now get uh, back into Lady Cat's territory. <clears throat> and uh, from the far touch line, here come the Lady Braves up to the center, and it's uh, kicked toward the goal. That's to the right of the goal from our perspective. And McKenna Gamble is able to handle that. <clears throat> and she will uh, punt this one out of here and gets a nice uh, punt into it there. It comes down to uh, Haley Robinson, but taken away by the Lady Braves, and they work uh, the far touch line again. Lady Cats back checking. Look at that um, Yamaguchi working hard there. And uh, Yamaguchi now works it over to a teammate there. I believe that's Hudgens. And Hudgens moves in, kicks it toward the goal. The keeper will gobble this one up right in front of a charging Lady Cat. I believe that was Haley Robinson. And there's the um, community kick. Not bad come up around the 40-yard line. Yamaguchi moves it in. And uh, Community is going to take it over, though, with some a good play. And across the midline they go. Back into the defense, Erica Van Bentham for the Lady Cats. And she finds a teammate there, Haley Robinson. Taken away, though, by a Community. But she kicked it right to Allie Stevens, who gets it back to Hudgens. But Community gets it back. And here comes Emerson Allen. Allen uh, finding a player right in the middle of the field, trying to set up a shot, Finally has a teammate coming in there. The Lady Cats repelled it, though, and broke that play up. And now Yamaguchi rolls the ball. And across the midline, uh, Janine down the field it goes, skips through players, and it's right on the edge of the box. The Lady Cats were pressing. They're going to chase it down to the right of the box. Uh, Lady Cat burrowing in there. That looks like Vanessa Lara. And it uh, goes out of bounds, and it'll be a throw-in for uh, Community. Make sure that was a six. And, yes, that was the Laura on a nice play there down the field. She's still on the back attack there. And Laura had it for just a second, uh, but it's kicked down the field. And here come the Lady Braves. Again, uh, Natalia Fonseca to a teammate there, roll down the field, and goes to Ashley Noe. Noe moving in, not checked too much, and kicks it uh, down the field, but intercepted by the Lady Braves. And they'll kick it up the field, and that will go across the touch line and a throw in for the Lady Cats. As they'll chase that down and throw that ball in. That will take a while, that ball rolling away from the Lady Cats player and getting her good exercise there. So a Lady Cat's throw in. <clears throat> see if I can spot that number. It's hard to see from here. It's a little dark over there on that far side. That's one thing with a football. You don't light up uh, the area on the sidelines. It's if they, put, they focus that light on the field. But it, those players just uh, over at that touch line in the dark over there, kind of. It's just a little darker. You just get flashing looks at those numbers, and you better lock in on it pretty quick. Throw in for the Lady Cats on the far touch line. Players uh, trying to get control. The Lady Braves have it right now, and they'll work the far touch line, just keeping it inbounds. And here come the Lady Braves across the midline and kick down the field. A good pass to a teammate, and here come the Lady Braves. To the right of the goal, they kick toward the middle, broken up there by Lady Cats defenders, but a player moving in, left-footed kick, but right to Gamble. So uh, McKenna Gamble making a good play there on a left-footed kick by a community player. Now the ball thrown out of there to Haley Robinson. Robinson on the move, 
and kicks the ball strongly down the field off of a Lady Brave, and now they've got it. And moving it across the uh, midline there to uh, Natalia Fonseca. She uh, finds a teammate back to Fonseca. She's got those bright shoes too. Kick and will be to the left of the goal. Gamel just let that one go and she'll pick up the spare ball there as that other one settles down to that fence, that, uh, that uh, smaller fence that's an inner fence right around the soccer pitch here. And Gamble with the uh, kick out of the goal. Rolls it over to the far side. And kicked uh, toward uh, Noe. Went past her, though, to Natalia Fonseca. But now the Lady Cats kick it down the field. Trying to chase it down over there on that far touch line. 14-44 uh, left in the first half. We're 0-0. When the community guys played... Uh, the uh, Wildcat soccer team, that ended up in a 1-1 tie. And that was one where a community, I think, if I recall correctly, I could look at my notes, go through here and see if I can determine that. But they actually uh, scored first. And uh, the Lady Cats, or excuse me, the Wildcats had to uh, score to uh, even it up. And let's see if I can. Yes, that was correct. And the uh, community got the first goal. And then the Wildcats tied it up uh, later. It looked like they might lose that one one to nothing. Here comes uh, Lady Braves on the near touchline, kicked off a of Lady Cat Stevens. And I think it jumped up and kind of hit her hand, and it'll be a hand violation. Free kick coming up for the Lady Braves. This is at a very severe angle. It's almost uh, on the touchline. It's right on the football uh, out of bounds. And so a severe angle, the Lady Cats are 10 yards away. Kick here by Abby Newton. Tall young lady and puts the foot into it and it is uh, knocked high in the air and uh, up and over the goal. That'll set up a, a uh, corner kick, I believe, as Gamble did a good job of kind of putting that ball up and then up and over she did. And uh, so it'll be a goal kick coming up, and Newton will come all the way back down to, to kick uh, from on the near side here to our left from the Prim press box. So Abby Newton will be uh, putting the uh, corner kick into play here with 12.56 left first quarter, 0-0. Newton's strong kick headed out by the Lady Cats, and they chase it down, but Newton came back and uh, took it away, and Newton moving in. Moves to the center of the field. She kicked and uh, tried to direct it toward the goal, but she was getting a lot of uh, uh, defense on her, and they kick well to the right of the goal, and it'll be a goal kick for the Lady Cats. 12.30 left in the first uh, half, and we're 0-0 here from Gerald Prim Stadium. Keep wondering if we might. Oh, we may have a halftime score here from Texarkana. Oh, these uh, scores are coming from uh, Dolly Kelly. Dolly, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, Halftime, uh, 30 to 23. The Lady Cats are up at the half against Texas High, so they're halfway home. Dolly, thank you very much. Keeping us uh, up to date from Texarkana, where the Lady Cats uh, have uh, a halftime lead by 7, 30 to 23 against Texas High. So, so far, so good, but still a, a real big half to come in a, a hostile place to play there at uh, Texarkana. Back to a soccer action now with 11.41 left to play here in the first half. And the uh, Lady Braves are moving in to the edge of the 18. And uh, they're uh, to the, a little bit of the right of the goal. There's a kick toward the center. One hopper to Gamble. Now that was not on goal, but it was it's kind of a play that uh, somebody could uh, come flying in there from the other side. and. Uh, and do something with that. So Gamble doing a good job of uh, cleaning that up. The uh, Lady Braves have the ball again. And uh, Natalia Fonseca gives it up and gets it back. And now she's moving in from the center of the field. Finds a teammate. Back to uh, Natalia. Tries to set up a shot. Lady Cats are, have her marked pretty well. And uh, now punched out of there by a good uh, defensive play for the Lady Cats. It's over to Laura. Laura's got her fan club here tonight. They are very loud. And there's a kick to the center of the field. And then uh, uh, Newton uh, blasted it down the field for uh, the uh, Lady Braves. They work it down the field. Erica Van Bentham chases. 
and gets there first. And uh, uh, the defend the offensive player fell for a uh, Nevada community. And here comes Erica Van Bentham uh, down the field. Erica with a good move out of the defense. Now kicked by the Lady Braves. And I think Erica was about out of gas there anyway. She made a long uh, run from one side of the field to the other to get that ball out of the Lady Cats uh, deep end of the defense. Nice play there by Erica Van Bentham. Hey, Substitutions are coming in. Now in the ball game, oh, we've got a number seven. Joel, we do not have a number seven on your roster. Oh, my goodness. How could they do that to us? I wonder who got introduced. Uh, I wonder if that's uh, Jasmine Oliveira. Don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll try to find out. Uh, we will, uh, uh, Jeremy Offit is trying to give me a signal, but, oh, it was a number two. It was Bailey Arrington then, came back in. I uh, misread that number's number seven. Here's a ball coming down the field. And now uh, Fonseca, uh, Natalia Fonseca, kicks it uh, down the field, but the Lady Cats get it. And uh, they've got it now in the uh, Lady Braves end. Here's Hudgens uh, moving in, but taken away. And uh, here come uh, the Lady Braves trying to get across the midline. Under a lot of pressure, the Lady Cats take it away. Good uh, defensive play, uh, back checking by the Lady Cats. They kick it down the field. Here comes Haley Robinson. Robinson trying to square up for a shot, but uh, they won't let her. But she's still working. And now she rolls it over to a teammate who's trying to line up a shot. Now here's the kick toward the goal, a one hopper in there. As the Lady Cats uh, get the kick on the goal there. And now uh, again, the team's uh, trying to get possession in the uh, Lady Braves into the field. Goes to the far touch line and the kick uh, down the field. And uh, there's a Erica Van Bentham right on that uh, uh, far touch line. Works it uh, up the field, but the Lady Braves take it over. And they try to maneuver, but uh, Lady Cats uh, vigorously back checking there. There's a kick across the field. And this lady could line up a good shot, but she passes to a teammate. She's to the right of the box. And now we'll uh, roll to a teammate at the edge. It's kicked, but blocked by the Lady Cats. And the Lady Cats kick it out of there. There's a chase for that ball, and the Lady Cats got there first and get it under control. My goodness, that looks like a seven. But that is a number two. That's a Bailey Arrington. They've kind of maneuvered. They've moved her around on the field. She was on this side a while ago. Over to Erica Van Bentham. And there's a kick out of there. And uh, the Lady Braves uh, kick it down the field, but the Lady Cats have it. They kick it to a Lady Brave, and now they try to get something going, but they're out about uh, 40 yards or so. Natalia Fonseca broken up by the Lady Cats, and they kick it uh, toward the midline, and now punched further down there for the Lady Cats. That's Laura. And the ball taken away, though, by Crystal Gonzalez. Now here's a deep kick for the Lady Cats, but the Lady Braves kick it right back into the uh, Lady Cats end of the field. The Lady Braves working that far touch line went off of a Lady Cat and out of bounds. And uh, throw in for the Lady Braves. 6.38 left uh, here in the uh, first half. And checking in for the Lady Cats now is Janine Yamaguchi. There's a throw in by the Lady Braves. A player maneuvering awfully quickly down there, but the Lady Cats punch it out of bounds and throw in for the Lady Braves. 6.18 left here in the first half. And we're 0 0. And the throw in for the Lady Braves. And uh, right on that right side of the box. A good job again by Erica Van Bentham screening that player and the ball went out of bounds. Goal kick for the Lady Cats and uh, McKenna Gamble from that edge of the uh, small box. That would be of the six yard variety. Gamble's kick out of there. Settled down by the Lady Braves. New player uh, Yamaguchi 
uh, who returned, I, I should say knew she returned to the game, was fighting for possession of the ball. Now down the field it comes for the Lady Cats. Right on the touchline, Laura turns and kicks and finds a teammate, tried to get it over toward uh, Yamaguchi, but intercepted. And here comes Natalia Fonseca, and she kicks to the middle of the field. Has a player coming in. They work it down further, but the Lady Cats break it up and kick it out of there to Yamaguchi. She's got a little bit of space and maneuvers past one defender, but the second one kicked it to, to the near touchline. And Yamaguchi continues on the attack, though. It goes across the touchline. Last touch by the Lady Braves. So a throw in for Allie Stevens and the uh, Lady Cats. So Allie with a throw in. And there's the throw down to Yamaguchi. Right on that near touchline, Laura turns and kicks. Goes back to Yamaguchi. She turns, uh, kicks with the left foot off of a, a Lady Brave, and they move it up the field out of their own defense as they come charging out of there with the Lady Cats in a uh, hot pursuit. Now the ball is kicked uh, back to the Lady Cats. And now it heads over toward the uh, far touchline. The Lady Cats get there first and kick it off of a Lady Brave, and then it went out of bounds. Throw in for the Lady Cats. 4-14, all that's left here in the first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. Lady Cats and the Lady Braves of Nevada Community. There's a throw in on that uh, far touch line, kicked high in the air by the Lady Braves and a header. And Lady Cats try to get it under control, but the Lady Braves have it, and they'll move across the midline uh, over by, the, uh, they're going to use the far touch line for the player coming in, but taken away by the Lady Cats defense. And the uh, players are uh, going for that ball there, but Lady Braves have it right now, and they kick it into the field a little bit, maneuver down. The Lady Cats break that up and kick to the far touch line. Lady Braves uh, back uh, with possession. They'll kick. Uh, here's a kick toward the goal. It's a three hopper this time to Gamble, and she handles that easily. And McKenna will, uh, at least she'll punt this one. Yes, she'll punt it out of there. Pretty nice punt, and it'll get that nice uh, artificial uh, st uh, hop. And now the Lady Braves hammer it back in. Lady Cats send it toward Yamaguchi. Ball is settled down. Lady Cats chasing. That is uh, Ashley Noe. Now the ball on the near side. Community works it. Uh, they're on the touch line there. They get, they're trying to get by Allie Stevens. Hard to do. It's kicked further down the field now. The Lady Cats get there first and punch down the field. Nice job there, but uh, taken over and then went across the touch line. And it'll be a throw in for the Lady Cats and Allie Stevens. Lady Cats pretty deep in their own territories, but she gets it up to Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi trying to move her, maneuver around Natalia Fonseca, who takes it away. And Yamaguchi's coming back with a vengeance there. But uh, now uh, Fonseca trying to settle down for a shot. She's getting uh, some good defense applied to her by the Lady Cats. And now Stevens uh, sends the ball down the field. And the Lady Cats try to get it and go with Laura. It went across the touch line. It'll be a, a Lady Brave throw in. Uh, just, uh, just over two to play here in the first half. And we're 0-0. Zero, zero. And the Lady Braves on the move as they try for a late rally here. And just to the edge of the 18-yard box, maneuvering in, have a player a little bit closer. She'll kick back to a teammate that might be open, a kick toward the goal, and a nice save there by McKenna Gamel. That shot was taken that time by Elizabeth Fonseca. There's a punt out of there by uh, Gamel, and uh, heads in the uh, direction of Arrington. Oh, uh, Lady Bray fell down but got it back to a defender. They kick it up the field, and the Lady Cats, Yamaguchi on the fly, but she slipped and fell. They had uh, this high humidity and perhaps a little bit of, of uh, moisture today has made this kind of a slick feel. We've seen several players slip and fall. As here come the Lady Braves uh, maneuvering in, and that ball gets inside that 18-yard box, and Gamble takes care of that uh, in a hurry. McKenna Gamble flings it out of there down toward Yamaguchi. And uh, taken away from her, though, and here come the Lady Braves, and they're uh, threatening now with uh, player maneuvering in, and good defense there by the Lady Cats. That was uh, Shelby McCormick. And it'll be a corner kick now, and again, that strong leg of Abby Newton. Again, uh, 
big tall player for a community that has a real thundering leg. Kind of reminds me of Erica Van Bentham, the way she kicks that ball so hard. And there's her corner kick right out in front. And uh, here's a kick and the goal left open, but just directed wide as uh, Gamble's got head, hands on head as she uh, chased after the ball and it was kept alive. And uh, Community had a pretty good shot right out in front, but it got directed just to the left of the goal. So uh, the Lady Cats survived that. And in just a few seconds, we're down to three, two, one. And there's Jeremy off its uh, horn as uh, we played the uh, first half here at uh, Gerald Prim Stadium. And we're in a scoreless tie through the first half. It's uh, Nevada Community zero and the uh, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs zero. So that uh, is uh, going to uh, go in the books a zero zero tie at the end of the first half. As Jeremy Offit just announced to the crowd here what we had told you a moment ago that the uh, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs basketball team ahead of Texas High at the end of uh, the first half for the score of 30 to 23. And we appreciate Dolly Kelly, who is uh, providing us uh, with uh, those scores. So that uh, is going to uh, be a uh, halftime here. And uh, we will take a halftime break and we'll come back and uh, have a little bit more info for you. And at the half, uh, Nevada Community zero. Those are the Lady Braves and the uh, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs zero. Let's take a break right now, and uh, we'll come back with more of our soccer coverage right after this break. Lady Cats are back on the pitch here and uh, waiting now for Nevada Community. I see their hands up on the far side where they're slapping those hands together as they uh, come out on the field. And see, well, once again, we can pick up uh, some of these players. Looks like Caitlin Robinson and... Uh, also, uh, that would be uh, Keeley Hudgens. I see uh, Jennifer Lopez is in there. And uh, we'll, again, just uh, pick up the players as we can. Uh, community will start uh, with possession of the ball. And now they kick it into their defense to start the offense. And here come the Lady Braves, and we start the second half, and we're 0-0. Zero, zero. Lady Cats trying to break up uh, the initial charge. And uh, Community heading back in the direction of the midline. They'll start a player along the uh, far touchline. And uh, here come the Lady Braves. They'll have a player coming in on the right side of the box against the Lady Cats defense, but she lost uh, control of the ball and went across the end line. So that will set up a uh, goal kick for the Lady Cats and uh, keeper uh, McKenna Gamble. And McKenna, again, the ball down on the ground from at the edge of the uh, six-yard box, kicks it out of there. Comes down to Haley Robinson. And Robinson down the field, it comes. And there's Arrington, uh, kicked it off of uh, players. And now uh, community starting uh, on the uh, near touchline here, but the Lady Cats take it away. And they uh, kick it down the field. That's uh, Caitlin Robinson after the ball. Kicked high in the air by a community. Caitlin in the middle of that there, working against the Lady Braves, and they kick it up the field into the Lady Cats defense. Nice header there by Erica Van Bentham. Lady Cats trying to maneuver down the field, but the Braves have it. And uh, they uh, work, uh, work the ball down the field, heading uh, toward kind of the middle of the field, out about uh, 35 yards. Player maneuvering in and will kick toward the goal. A one-hopper right there to uh, Gamble. And Gamble will uh, kick it uh, out of the punt, out of the 18-yard uh, box right on the edge. Hit by the Lady Braves. And as uh, they look like uh, they're doing pretty well, but intercepted uh, by the Lady Cats, Yamaguchi. And uh, she kicks with the right foot. The Lady Cats chasing. Goes back there to Newton, though, and Newton uh, works that far touch line. Lady Cats back checking, but the Lady Braves have it right now. 37 45 left here in the second half, 0 0. Ball comes over to Melissa Shirley. 
She kicks it down the field, intercepted by the Lady Cats who kick it down the field, right on the midline, and over to Hudgens, jumped over her foot, and then the Lady Braves will put the ball high under the air. Comes down around Yamaguchi trying to settle that thing down, and Yamaguchi moving sideways, now kicks it down the field to a teammate, Arrington, and Arrington uh, to a teammate who kicks it deep into uh, Lady Braves territory. That's that Newton back there on defense. And we'll kick it along the far touch line. And here come the Lady Braves across the midline. Yamaguchi uh, back checking over there. And now they work it down the field, but uh, bumped off the ball for the Lady Cats. They get it over to Arrington and uh, punched uh, further down. And the Lady Cats maneuvering toward the goal with some good passing. They've got a player coming in on the keeper. Here's a left-footed kick, but right at the keeper there. Uh, nice effort there for the Lady Cats, as that was, I believe, Caitlin Robinson. But uh, the uh, keeper for community uh, rises to the occasion. I believe she's Kenra Rojas. Oh, no, that's a good save there. I believe that's number zero there for uh, Community uh, Braves. And here's the kick. And it's going to uh, go across the touch line and a throw in for the Lady Cats. And Brooke Harden, one of the captains, uh, throws it in off of a Lady Cat down the uh, near touch line. Uh, Brooke uh, kicks the ball toward the middle of the field off of a uh, Lady Brave player. Jennifer Lopez in there mixing it up, but the Lady Braves maneuvering in. Now Lopez will kick back to a teammate there and rolled up to Yamaguchi, who kicks to the far side, Ali Stevens. Stevens works well around a player, kicks it up the field, and now it goes across the far touch line, last touch by the Lady Braves, and the throw in for the Lady Cats. 35-25 left uh, here in the second half, we're 0-0 and throw in for the Lady Cats. And Yamaguchi with a left-footed kick into Lady Braves territory. Kick back up the field. Yamaguchi trying to get a run going here. Kicks it to the edge of the 18-yard box. The Lady Cats have a player burrowing in there, but the ball's kicked to the side of the box. And then Community cleared it all the way out of bounds, and the Lady Cats will have a throw in fairly deep in Lady Braves territory. They'll be able to, they should be able to hit that. Uh, Allie Stevens should be able to hit uh, pretty easily that 18 yard box to teammates in there. And here's Allie's throw. Bounces it right to the edge of the box. Back toward Allie Stevens. She kicks uh, right out in front. The ball uh, coughed up just for a second, but then a good job of recovery there by the keeper for uh, the Lady Braves. And there is the punt uh, out of there, kind of a pooch kick. Coming down near Jennifer Lopez. And Jennifer working uh, toward uh, Caitlin Robinson, but taken away by the Lady Braves. One of the Lady Braves player, a little bit slow getting up. But I think she had a player on her back for just a second, and then she was able to get up. It looks like she's still suffering a little bit. See if uh, she can shake that off. Looks like she can. So, uh, yeah, she, she, I think she's doing just fine. So, Ball went out of bounds. It'll be a Lady Cats throw in. 33-43. Uh, second half, 0-0. Zero, zero. Throw in for the Lady Cats. Headed but backwards for the Lady Braves. And then they move into Lady Cats territory. And now the Lady Braves kick uh, to the uh, near uh, touch line and down the field. And moving in... Uh, this is Natalia Fonseca, gets it to a teammate there, kicks it across, and the Lady Cats intercept, move it down the field. Good, strong uh, roll out of the defense there, some tough uh, action. Down the field it goes, Lady Cats chase, but community got there first. A ball off Erica Van Bentham, and she storms up the field, but taken away by the Lady Braves, and Erica now back on the attack on defense. Here's a kick. Uh, for the Lady Braves that went off their player and almost all the way back to the player that kicked it. Now maneuvering in, they'll uh, try a player coming in from the right side. Here's a kick. Now that uh, that was in so deep that that ended up back behind the net on the kick. 
And it'll be a goal kick for the Lady Cats at 32-37. And we're 0-0 zero -zero here at Gerald Prim Stadium. Defense has ruled here at Gerald Prim. And now the kick uh, by Gamble. Finds a teammate over there. And uh, taken away by the Lady Braves. And now the Lady Cats get it back and kick to the far touchline. And a player maneuvering up the field, but heavy uh, pressure on her. And Braves get it and uh, kick it back in toward the edge of the 18-yard box. Erica Van Bentham rolls it over to Brooke Harden. Harden with a left-footed kick. And right on a teammate's foot, and she sends it down the field. They can't keep that in bounds there as uh, they were sending it down toward uh, Caitlin Robinson. And she was running as hard as she could. She just couldn't get there to keep it in bounds. And there's a throw in for uh, the uh, community Lady Braves. Lady Cats take it away. And there's the kick uh, by Haley Robinson. That got in the 18-yard uh, box and now kicked out of there by the uh, Lady Braves. And they maneuvered up the field. They found uh, Natalia Fonseca, and she brings it across the uh, midline. Kicks to the right side, intercepted there by Caitlin Robinson in the middle of the field. And that's uh, Haley Robinson, moves it down further. But uh, Community got it back. And here they come. Well, what a great name for a, a team, right? Community. And now a player bursting in, um, splitting defenders, but the Lady Cats playing good defense, and they spread the ball to the side. And uh, I think that's going to be a corner kick now for uh, uh, Community Lady Braves. And again, that strong-legged one, uh, Abby Newton from the defense, will come in there to take the corner kick for the Lady Braves here. And Coach Elise Berta. And so the ball settled down there by Newton. It's to our right and on the near side here from the press box at Pim, Prim. And here's a Newton's a thundering kick off of a Lady Cat with a strong header that went out about 30 yards. Uh, the Lady Braves move in, ball uh, heading to the near touchline, and the Lady Braves have it. Player uh, kicks it down the field. The Lady Cats repel it out of there, and it uh, hops over players. And uh, Hudgens uh, maneuvering the ball for the Lady Cats. Hudgens uh, trying to race around a defender, but... Uh, the uh, Lady Braves got back. Again, that, uh, that defender, Abby Newton there, very tough on defense and tough customer and was able to uh, stymie that uh, play there by Hutchins, or Hudgens, excuse me. Throw in for uh, Harden and uh, the Lady Cats. And Brooke throws it in. And here come the Lady Braves uh, steaming out of there. That's uh, Natalia Fonseca. And uh, with a couple of passes, but broken up by the Lady Cats, Allie Stevens. And now it's uh, back on the near touchline, right around the midline. Got away, uh, skipped over the foot of uh, Melissa Shirley for the Lady Braves. The Lady Cat throw in, Brooke Harden. And Brooke with a throw in. And there it is. Comes into the Lady Braves. Uh, good uh, back checking there by Haley Robinson. But now the Braves break cl uh, clean and come across the midline. Lady Cats uh, back checking. That was Laura coming from behind. But the Lady Braves move to the center of the field. They're out about 40 yards. Player uh, continuing to maneuver in. The Lady Cats break it up. But right back to another Lady Brave. And they'll try the far left touch line. Kick toward the center. Lady Cats kick it out of there. And here come the uh, Lady Cats. Move it over to the center of the field. And kick uh, down to Hudgens. She'll chase, but the keeper will get there first. And she'll be able to kick it out of the 18-yard box. That's kind of their sanctuary there. And when that ball crosses into that box, they can, can uh, touch the ball. Here come the Lady Braves out of there. Good uh, defense there by uh, Haley Robinson. Tried to work it down uh, further to Hudgens. And Haley now on the uh, near touch line. Oh, she's uh, tripped and fell. And the official in the field will call that as a as a foul against the uh, Lady Braves. 
And Erica Van Bentham now comes down for the free kick for the Lady Cats. Yeah, again, a severe angle. It's right on the football uh, sideline. Out about uh, 33 yards for Erica Van Bentham. And she puts a charge into it toward the goal. It takes a big hop, but the keeper did a good job of, of uh, tamping that ball down to keep it from hopping over her head. She'll kick it out of there to goes past Jennifer Lopez. Comes back to the Lady Cats, and they'll work uh, to Stevens down to Yamaguchi, who kicks uh, back towards Stevens. She sends it down the field for Arrington and back to Stevens. Now on the offensive charge here on the right side of the box, and then Community will uh, kick the ball out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the Lady Cats. Stevens will chase that ball. She's probably used to that, and she is the one nearest to it. And uh, she will uh, look like Stevens is going to. It's actually, it, it will not be a corner kick. It will be a corner throw in. That makes sense for Stevens to do that. And Ashley Noe checks back in for the Lady Cats. And Stevens with a throw in, headed uh, toward the uh, middle, right at the edge of the 18-yard box. But uh, the Lady Braves get it out of there. The Lady Cats coming up, and a strong kick, but off the keeper. It's still alive. Roll toward the goal, and a goal for the Lady Cats. Lady Cats goal. And that one was put in there by Haley Robinson. Haley Robinson with a goal. And that one at 26-15. And the Lady Cats leading one to nothing. Boy, how quickly uh, the tide can turn sometime. That was a good kick on goal for the Lady Cats and the keeper was able to get a part of it, but could not uh, keep uh, from turning into a rebound. And, uh, and that uh, allowed uh, Robinson to get just enough on that kick for it to kind of trickle into the goal. But uh, she sent it in the right direction. The Lady Cats leading one to nothing with a big goal here. And now here are the Lady Braves trying to uh, tally right back as they bring the ball into Lady Cats territory. The Lady Cats will get a strong kick out of there. And now uh, the uh, Lady Braves uh, kick a long kick in there. The players uh, really checking uh, for the Lady Cats. And now kicked out of bounds by the uh, community Lady Braves. Allie Stevens will chase that ball down and then we'll throw it in. We still have 25-40 left to play. Again, in case you did not hear, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs losing to Texas High. Uh, in basketball tonight, 63-52. They led at the half, but uh, Texas High had a big second half. So the Lady Cats, uh, will, they remained in third place. There was nothing they could do uh, tonight except to uh, get a win that they really wanted against Texas High. But they were going to be the third seed in district and still will be and still will play uh, uh, Jacksonville either Monday or Tuesday at a site and time to be determined. And now the uh, Lady Cats trying to come out of their own end. Ball over to Laura. Laura with a kick uh, down toward Arrington. She turns and chases. Ball on that uh, near touch line goes out of bounds and uh, community to throw the ball in on uh, that uh, far touch line. They'll kick it up the field, but off of Yamaguchi. She started to get the ball to go, but uh, the Lady Braves take it away and kick it down the field. There was a real collision there and a player down uh, for uh, the uh, Lady Braves after that collision. And uh, we will uh, stop uh, play here at 24-23 for uh, to check uh, the player that was uh, knocked down on the field there. So we will uh, take a time out here. We'll come back and... Uh, we will rejoin the game, 24-23 uh, to go with the clock stopped here and Lady Cats leading by the score of one to nothing. Back in a moment. The uh, player that uh, needed some uh, attention for just a second uh, jumped up and uh, was able to uh, walk off the field under her own power without a limp or anything, and that was Ashley Sales Garcia. So uh, she appears to be okay. I would not be surprised to see her return a little bit later. Uh, good news on the uh, injury front, and we're glad to report that. And uh, here come the uh, Lady Braves as they 
trying to maneuver in. They kick to the middle of the field. Natalia Fonseca to a teammate back to Fonseca. She's trying to set up a shot. And uh, Lady Cats, a oh, ball bouncing around like a pinball. And the uh, ball is a uh, kick toward the goal. Nice uh, stop there by McKenna Gamble. Looked like it had a chance there at the very beginning, like it might rise over her, but it uh, it did not. And a good play by Gamble. And she kicks it out of the goal. Lady Cats leading one to nothing with 23-33 left uh, here in the uh, second half. And the Lady Braves moving in. They kick toward the middle of the field. Lady Cats uh, intercept. And ball on the uh, far touch line. And the Lady Braves uh, in interrupted, though, by the Lady Cats as the defense playing strong now to try to repel the attack. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Lady Cats on the far touch line and throw in for the Lady Braves. They're trying to get the equalizer here with 23 minutes still left to play. Lady Braves moving in. The Lady Cats are repelling uh, the, the action and uh, kicking it out from their own defense. But uh, the Lady Braves uh, insist on uh, keeping it back in there. They're to the left side of the box for the player maneuvering in, trying to keep it in bounds. Here's a kick toward the middle, and Gamble will cut that off. And she'll roll it out to, uh, came uh, out to uh, Kelly Hudgens. And Hudgens, uh, Keeley Hudgens, excuse me, I knew better than that. And now the Lady Braves kick it to the right of the box. Player looking for some teammates, rolls it to a player coming in, went past her, thank goodness. And uh, the Lady Cats get it out of there. Hudgens uh, got the kick on it. Keeley Hudgens. And here come the Lady Braves again as they're really, really amping up the attack now. Natalia Fonseca trying to clear for a kick. Kicked it off of a Lady Cat to uh, get it out of there. And Hudgens uh, chases it down. And uh, actually, no, that was uh, Haley Robinson. And now uh, kicked out of there by the Lady Cats. They'll chase, but uh, Newton gets there first for the uh, Lady Braves. And now here she comes in a big hurry, becoming a part of the offense. Rolled it past some Lady Cats. And they kick it down the field, but right there to Stevens. Stevens uh, finds a teammate uh, right there in the middle, Haley Robinson. And here comes Haley. Her kick blocked, but she gets it back. Oh, now she uh, tripped and fell. No call. And here come the Lady Braves. Uh, Yamaguchi stopped that attack. And uh, Laura has it, and she kicks it uh, down the field to Hudgens. Oh, they tried to get her legs out from under her again, but... Here come the Lady Braves on that far touch line. And they uh, are really turning up the heat now. The Lady Cats repel that, get it out of there. Comes to Haley Robinson. Over to the side to Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi with some good moves around about three different players. She goes from one side of the field to the other, gets a good hand from the crowd. Now works it down the field. And the uh, Lady Braves intercept, and they start trying to get an attack uh, underway. And they roll the ball to Natalia Fonseca. She kicks the ball down the field. Erica Van Bentham turns and runs. Erica gets there first, and across the uh, touchline it goes. Throw in for uh, the community Lady Braves. And looks like Melissa Shirley will uh, go down there to do that for the Lady Braves. Just over 20 to play. We played just about half of the uh, second half. And the Lady Cats uh, have a goal here uh, in the uh, second half to lead one to nothing. That was at 26-15, Haley Robinson. There's uh, Shirley with another throw in for the Lady Braves, but the Lady Cats get it and kick it down the field. Chested down uh, by the uh, Lady Braves, but taken away by Haley Robinson. But the Braves get it back right on the uh, near touch line. They send it down the field. Erica Van Bentham punches it down toward Haley Robinson, but uh, Lady Braves get it back. Fonseca was trying to break in, but the Lady Cats stopped that and kicked it out almost to the midline. Shirley's got it for the Lady Braves. Gets it over to Sarah Colley. Now the Lady Cats kick it out of there. Went off of the Lady Brave, and here comes Hudgens. Keeley Hudgens maneuvering. And uh, now kicked, uh, looked like it went off of Keeley. And Superfan Jay is going to chase that ball down. He and his buddy Chris are down there uh, 
with a uh, a close seat right on top of the field there. There's a throw in by the Lady Braves, went off of a Lady Cat. Jay sprung to action there to keep uh, things moving rapidly here at uh, the prim. Teams uh, grappling for the ball. It's uh, back in the Lady Braves territory. They'll work the far touch line and they will chase. They'll kick it up the field. They've got it right in front of their own uh, dugout there, but it went out of bounds. A throw in for the Lady Cats, and here comes Stevens to do that. 18.30 left here in the second half, and the Lady Cats leading one to nothing on a uh, Haley Robinson goal for Lady Cats. Back to Stevens, and she punches it down the field. Lady Cats uh, continuing to maneuver. Uh, Arrington down there and continuing to fight uh, for that ball out of bounds off of uh, Lady Cats. Throw in for the Lady Braves with 18.05 left. Lady Cats leading one to nothing. There is the throw in and kicked uh, high in the air. A header by, uh, by the Lady Cats. And here come the Lady Braves again. Uh, Natalia Fonseca, kind of their spark plug looks like. Kick back over to Yamaguchi, and she finds Stevens back in the defense. Just in bounds, and Stevens thunders it uh, down the field to Arrington. Arrington still has it. Kicks it over to Yamaguchi, and she kicks it down the field, and that will roll across the touchline. Throw in for the Lady Braves at 17-22. And if we can get something on the Wildcats game, we'll certainly let you know. Again, the Lady Cats losing to Texas High in basketball, 63-52. That wraps up their district season. They'll have a 6-4 and four record and go into the playoffs. And now back to a soccer game here and on the far touchline. Here come the Lady Braves, uh, left side of the box. They try kick it toward the center. Now uh, centered up, but uh, cleared out of there by the Lady Cats with a nice strong kick. And uh, Lady Cats trying to come out of their defensive end. The Lady Braves intercept. That young lady slipped and fell and gets up. And uh, Yamaguchi tries to go around her. Now the Lady Braves uh, send it back downfield, but the Lady Cats kick it into the Lady Braves defense. There's a strong kick by Newton into the Lady Cats end. And taken by the Lady Braves as they try to get something going here. In the last 16 minutes, player burrowing in. And we're going to have a foul. Looks like a free kick coming up. This will be a pretty juicy one for the uh, Lady Braves. It'll be out about 34 yards, but it is dead on center. And that strong kicker there, uh, Abby Newton, from uh, 34 yards out and just straight away, the Lady Cats have to uh, drop back uh, 10 yards. And actually looks like they're going back nine, but they let them do that. Here's the kick toward the goal. And Hudgens, uh, oh, she, she didn't make a clean catch on it, but she kept it under control. And before anybody could get near it, she did grab it and uh, kick it down the field. Ball up around the midline, kicked high in the air by Community, and uh, whistle blows and violation against the Lady Braves. And that'll be a free kick for the Lady Cats. I think that high kick in order to get that ball high in the air, probably a danger to people's faces. Now here's a strong kick by Erica Van Bentham. Players breaking in, uh, appear to be on side. Here's a kick, it's in the goal. Let's see if that counts. They may wave this off here. I don't, uh, don't think that one's gonna count. Looked like Caitlin Robinson got the goal. But they're actually going to call. They called a foul before the you know, ball went into the goal. And uh, timeout taken here. And as uh, they're checking the uh, keeper for uh, community, make sure that she apparently was involved as she came out and uh, muffed that ball. But they say there was some contact there. And, and so... Uh, Checking her out to make sure that uh, everything is okay there. I guess this would be their trainer out there. He's the fellow that I thought was their uh, assistant coach. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
and he he may be an assistant coach slash trainer for all I know, but they're checking the uh, keeper. It looks like she's going to stay in the game but just to make sure that that uh, everything feels good. And I think she got hit on that arm and, and make sure that, that uh, she's uh, good to go here. Tammy Carroll was also on standby getting ready to go and help uh, if needed. And now here's the kick out of the goal. Uh, it was going to be taken there by, uh, by uh, Newton. And now here come the Lady Braves as they work it across the midline. And they've got uh, Natalia Fonseca kicks uh, to the uh, edge of the uh, touchline out of bounds off the Lady Cats and thrown in now by Victoria Bermudez. And there's her throw in off of a Lady Cat, a header by the Lady Cats. And the kick is uh, going to sail out of bounds by a community. I want to make sure I got that number correctly. Lady just will not. There she goes. Yeah, that was number six. That was Victoria Bermudez, who is working that uh, near touch line now on the far right of that uh, attack for the uh, Lady Braves. There's a kick out of the goal by uh, Gamble. Taken down by the Lady Cats. They'll roll it down the field. But taken uh, by uh, Community, and they come in quickly. They've got 13.38 left uh, here in the fourth quarter. Erica Van Bentham uh, with the ball. And uh, now the ball uh, out of bounds off of Community. It'll be a goal kick for the Lady Cats. At 13.24 and counting. And again, Gamble will take it for the Lady Cats. They lead one to nothing. A Haley Robinson goal at 26.15. Substitution for the Lady Cats, uh, Lois uh, Roca checks in. And the kick uh, out of the goal by Gamble. And the Lady Braves kick it high into the air as they try to mount a charge here. Arrington uh, providing a lot of resistance over there, working hard for the Lady Cats. Down the field it comes. It's toward the middle of the field there, but uh, Erica Van Bentham will supercharge that. What a super kick by Erica Van Bentham. It's going to work its way all the way into the 18-yard box. Lady Cats are chasing, but the keeper will get there far ahead. And uh, now the kick out of the goal, kind of a flat kick, but uh, comes down to Yamaguchi. Lady Cats on the attack. They work it uh, toward Roca, but again, it went into that box, and uh, and Roca could not uh, outrun the kicked ball. Down the field it comes. Lady Cats are now beginning to apply a little pressure as uh, communities. Uh, Lady Braves have uh, started uh, amping up the offensive pressure. The Lady Cats are getting a few more chances. Roca tried to get a run going. Here's uh, Ashley Noe. Noe will kick toward a strong kick toward the goal. Taken nicely by the keeper there for community. Played that well, and she will now punt the ball out of there. Comes down off uh, several players toward the middle of the field. And now Yamaguchi. And uh, kicked uh, down the field. Lady Cats are chasing, that's Arrington, but the keeper came up and uh, swallowed that one up and now will uh, boot it out of there. Nice punt off of a Lady Cat. I think that's, is that Keeley Hutchins? Now it's on the near side. And kicked out of bounds, it'll go to the Lady Cats and Harden, Brooke Harden, to throw in for the Lady Cats. And checking in for the Lady Cats now, Caitlin Robinson. Coming in, I believe, for Arrington. <clears throat> and the throw in for Harden and the Lady Cats. Comes down to Ashley Noe. And Ashley, with a left foot, kicks it down the field, but the Braves propel it out of there. And they find a teammate at the midline, and here they come in a big hurry. And uh, they're working their passing game down pretty well as they continue to maneuver in. They've got a player breaking into the box. Uh, Lady Cats back on defense, and somehow that ball found its way into the arms of, uh, of the keeper there, uh, Gamble. And Gamble punts it out of there. 
Again, the Braves trying to settle that ball down there, and here they come again on the attack. Ball down uh, toward uh, Sarah Colley. Now the Lady Cats kick it out of there. Now they've got uh, their defenders trying to rush in there. Ball over to Laura. She kicks to the middle of the field. There's a strong kick. And Gamel lets it take a big hop, and she grabbed it right in front of a community player there. Always feel like I'm ready to go to the Main Street Theater talking. Well, we've had community twice this year and used community player over and over again. I keep thinking David Woody's out there. Here's a toss in now for uh, uh, community Lady Braves. Goes off a Harden and out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for uh, Nevada Community. Here's the toss headed by the Lady Cats. 9.24, all that's left here. The Lady Cats with a one to nothing lead. Sure would like to break into the win column. They had a, a hand call inadvertent there off of uh, Keeley Hudgens and a kick uh, out about 35 yards from a pretty severe angle. And uh, Newton again with that strong leg will uh, We'll kick it. No wonder, uh, you, I mean, Van Bentham, boy, did she thunder a kick. was about, looked like 50 yards. She had that strong wind to her back. I think about a five to 10 mile an hour wind. Here's Newton uh, uh, kicking it in there hard, but uh, Lady Cats propel, uh, repel it out of there. Now Lady Cats, Laura, kicks it. Oh, she found a teammate. Nice pass. Lady Cats coming out of their defensive end, but uh, that was Caitlin Robinson, but taken away by the Lady Braves. They send it down. Have a player right down the middle and uh, sending it to the right side of the box. Lady Cats uh, have good marking defense there. Now it comes out and they go right back to the edge of that box. Try to get it inside and the Lady Cats kick it down the field. With 8-12 left here in the fourth quarter, the Lady Cats leading one to nothing. Kick by Van Bentham out toward Roca. Comes down to another good uh, kick by the Lady Cats, but then the Lady Braves with a strong kick. And what a nice header there by Erica Van Bentham. And uh, Community coming down, on, uh, heading to the far side of the field. Lady Cats break it up. Yamaguchi, all is kicked uh, back uh, to uh, Noe. She directs over to Stevens and she kicks the ball to the uh, far touch line. And across the touchline it goes, throw in for the uh, Lady Braves. 7.30, all that's left here in the second half. And the Lady Cats with Sulphur Springs lead one to nothing. Kick by the Lady Braves. Yamaguchi trying to come out of there with it. Kicks it down the field, but blocked by the Lady Braves, and they have it back. They've got 7.12 to try to get the equalizer, and down the field they come. Ashley Noe mixing it up in there for the Lady Cats. Here's a left-footed kick. It heads into the 18-yard box, and the Lady Cats will blast it across that uh, uh, touch line. It's going to be a deep throw in for uh, the uh, Lady Braves. And uh, they get it to the edge of the box, and now they move it out a little bit and kick to the center of the field, and the Lady Cats applying some good uh, back pressure. The ball, that player maneuvering in and falls down there. No uh, foul in the box. And now the Lady Cats get it out of there and uh, boot it down the field. But the Lady Braves continuing to put on the pressure here. They'll kick it to the edge of the 18-yard box. So oh, Erica Van Bentham slams it out of there. Roca working hard to get to the ball for the Lady Cats. There's a, a kick uh, by the Lady Braves with the Lady Cats uh, have it. But the Lady Braves get it back. And they're on the uh, near touch line. Still out about 30 yards. Kicked off of a Lady Cat, but it did go out of bounds. It was kicked off of uh, Hudgens. And now the Lady Braves throw in. And uh, Lady Cats repel it out of there again and kick to the center of the field where Roca comes down, uh, settles under it, and gives it to Yamaguchi. And here comes Janine. Kicked it down toward Hudgens, and Hudgens got to it. Hudgens uh, screening the defender and kicking it down the field, but the Lady Braves repel it back up near the midline. And here they come with a run, a player maneuvering in. Kick to the uh, near touchline here. The Lady Cats break it up, kick it down the field. Looks like it'll roll across the touchline, and it does. 
It'll be a throw in for a community. Emily Buentia tried to uh, get to that ball, but couldn't get there in time. But uh, actually, it didn't matter since the Lady Cats had kicked it out. And now the Lady Braves again trying to come out of their defensive end across the 50, the midline. And here come the uh, Lady Braves down, but uh, this time they uh, roll it across the uh, near touch line and Lady Cats send in a couple of players, Bailey Arrington and also Haley Robinson. Yamaguchi will uh, head to the bench. Saw Joel Bailey down there high-fiving those players that are coming off the field. Throw in for the Lady Cats, 427 uh, and counting here in the second half. And the Lady Cats up one to nothing. Throw in uh, by the Lady Cats went off of a Lady Brave and out of bounds. And Lady Cats will gain about 20 yards of uh, territory and get to throw it in again. Harden again with the throw in. Just over four to play here in the second half. Ball comes in, and the Lady Cats uh, send it down the field, and they'll chase. And a kick to, uh, up the field toward uh, Laura. Laura comes down with it, kicks to the middle of the field. And uh, some good work by the Lady Cats to keep that ball in that end. Now here's Herring, uh, Arrington, and she sent the ball across the uh, to the right of the goal, well to the right of the goal, and went across the end line. So it'll be a uh, kick now by one of the position players for uh, the uh, community Braves, uh, Lady Braves. And here they come. They'll try the uh, near touch line here, see if they can keep it in bounds. They do, but they kicked it off of uh, Harden and throw in for uh, community. They have a player uh, to the right of the box was facing some heavy defense for the Lady Cats. Just in bounds now on that near touch line. Kicks it back to a teammate that's to the edge of the 18-yard box. A player trying to set up a shot. It's still on the, uh, oh, right to a community uh, player who kicked toward the goal. Uh, Lady Cats finally get them to kick it to the right of the goal. And uh, Hutchins, or excuse me, uh, Gamel able to uh, make the save. Boy, that looked kind of scary there at 241. Some pretty good choice, uh, pretty good uh, openings for uh, the uh, community Braves. Now they kick it out of bounds and a throw in for the Lady Cats. And Harden will come all the way down to throw it, which when you've got a one to nothing lead is a good strategy. And now checking back in will be Jackie Esparza. So Esparza in there. And now Harden with a throw in. And uh, comes down to Hudgens, down to Arrington, but broken up by the uh, Lady Braves. They kick it up the field, Harden mixing it up in there. And now Laura, right on the touch line. Braves trying to come out of their own defensive end. And uh, went across the touch line out of bounds and throw in for uh, Harden and the Lady Cats with 146 left. Lady Cats leading one to nothing ball kicked uh, up into the stands. Nice catch there by Fan. And throw in uh, for uh, the Lady Cats. And Harden with the throw down toward Laura. Laura continuing to work, but she uh, sent it out of bounds. A throw in for the Lady Braves, but she sent it out of bounds deep. Wait a minute. They say the Braves, uh, the Lady Braves touched it last. So Harden now throwing in pretty deep in Lady Brave territory. And she throws it into the 18-yard box. It's headed and popped headed again. Another header by the Lady Braves, and they kick it out of there. But Lady Cat is waiting. There's a header by, by Noe. But now here come the Lady Braves as they try to break out of there against the Lady Cat's defense. Erica Van Bentham back on defense. Brave, Lady Braves moving in. Ball to the center, but kicked out of there. But another Lady Braves sends it toward the goal, but well to the right. As I must have been partially blocked or uh, just a miss hit or something. That was way offline and set a goal kick for the Lady Cats. And by the time they chase that ball down, they're going to just about use up the final 28 seconds that's left here. And, and Gamble is, uh, I would to call to say that she's not in a hurry would be 
the truth. <laughs> 16 seconds, all that's left, and now Gamble finally kicks it out of there. The Lady Cats have just about got this one in, but here comes uh, the Lady Braves moving in, a kick toward the goal just to the right. Missed maybe five feet or so. And there's the clock runs down to zero, and the Lady Cats have won their first game of the season. And Joel Bailey uh, telling his young ladies to get out there and uh, join the con uh, congratulation line as the Lady Cats win against uh, the Nevada Community Lady Braves by the score of one to nothing in a really uh, a hard fought uh, soccer match here between a couple of teams look pretty even out there. And now uh, congratulations in order between the two teams and uh, congratulations line. You're always glad when able to do this. You kind of put those hard feelings. I tell you, nobody plays harder and nastier sometimes than hockey players and they still insist on uh, having those uh, uh, congratulation sessions at the end of even the toughest of matches in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So, uh, again, the last we know, uh, we did get a score. Let's see, we may have a Wildcat score coming in. Halftime, Texas high, 33, and the Wildcats 22. So the Wildcats have a lot of work to do uh, in the uh, second half. But no, don't give up on those Wildcats yet. Uh, they've uh, had several halves like that where they've had a tough time in the first half, and they've really come back with a vengeance in the second half. Uh, Lady Cats lost to Texas High and Texas Canada tonight, 63-52. Uh, so that's as far as we can take you with this soccer game tonight. And uh, here uh, from uh, Gerald Prim Stadium, the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs win their first game of the season as they defeat uh, Nevada Community's Lady Braves by the score of one to nothing. And I had it as a goal by Haley Robinson at 26-15 to make it a one to nothing contest. And we will double check that with the coaching staff to make sure. And uh, if we need to correct it, we will put it in our overnight story on our website to uh, let you know. And of course, we will report that uh, accurately uh, as a part of our uh, sports uh, coming up tomorrow on National Signing Day and the Lady Cats and Wildcats uh, look like five players that we have not uh, had before plus uh, uh, perhaps some that uh, we've already reported such as uh, uh, Sedavia Porter for track is listed on the list again and uh, at one time, I think uh, Caden Argenbright was also on the list, and we uh, covered him as well. But there are five that, that we have not uh, yet mentioned, and we will uh, get to them tomorrow to give them the recognition they so richly deserve. So that's going to wrap it up here. The Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs defeat Nevada Community's uh, Lady Braves by the score of one to nothing here at uh, Gerald Prim Stadium. Lady Cats improved to one, nine, and three on the season. And uh, they will be a part of the doubleheader on Friday with Melissa. It'll be the Lady Cats varsity at 5.30 and uh, the Wildcats varsity at around 7 o'clock, both against Melissa right here at Gerald Prim Stadium. So uh, we'll be bringing you that uh, uh, here. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and wrap it up here from Gerald Prim Stadium. James Terry... Uh, doing our work in the control room to uh, run all of our uh, announcements and and uh, take care of everything uh, in there. Doug Hastett, again, uh, double duty tonight with engineering to set everything up to make sure it runs properly. And then also uh, uh, doing the uh, video work, both for the live stream video and also for to uh, make sure the game got recorded and it just uh, dawned on me there was something I was supposed to talk to him about. I didn't do, but I'll do that in <laughs> just a second. And hopefully it's not too late. But uh, the Lady Cats uh, win this one by the score of one to nothing. Uh, Doug uh, doing the shooting and uh, engineering. I'm Don Julian with your play-by-play. -play. As always, we're very glad uh, when you join us for these sporting events. And we thank you so much. And uh, that's going to wrap it up. Lady Cats beat uh, Nevada Community by the score of one to nothing. And uh, thank you for joining us, and so long, everybody. Thank you, Don. You've been listening to Lady Cat Soccer on KSST, 1230 AM, Sulphur Springs.